Am I the, a hole for refusing to give up my table in a coffee shop for a woman who supposedly was recovering from back surgery? On Saturday mornings, I study at a cafe. It is always crowded coffee shop noise helps me focus, so I show up at opening time 8 a.m., order some food and a drink, and stay for two to three hours. The layout is mostly two-person tables that can be pushed together with some larger tables as well as counter seating. Even though I go on my own, I always sit at a two-person table as the counters are uncomfortable for me and they do not have much space. I also like sitting against the wall so that people walking by can't see my computer screen. Yesterday at 9 a.m. I was doing work at a table when a random woman sat across from me. This ticked me off because I don't like my personal space being invaded and I would have appreciated it if she had asked me before sitting down, but I ignored it. I was near the counter that day, so she might have just been waiting for her food. As I looked up, I noticed she was talking to another woman in the line to order we'll call the first woman Beatrice and the second woman Susie. Susie was saying how they might have to take their food to go because no tables were available. Beatrice didn't address me directly, but she gestured to me as if planning to take over my table. This ticked me off more because it was like I was an object that could be moved, but I knew when the time came, I would ask them not to sit at my table. Sure enough, Susie got the order in and brought her number to my table. She then asked if I wouldn't mind moving to the counter so that her friend could sit here, saying her friend had recently had back surgery and the counters would be too uncomfortable for her. I told her no, the counters are uncomfortable for me too and there would not be enough space for all of my books and notebooks. She called me rude and inconsiderate and said I shouldn't even be there because I wasn't eating anything. I said I had bought breakfast and a drink, not that it was their business, and that they could take things to go. Eventually, one of the workers came over and asked if they were bothering me. I said they were, and Beatrice and Susie were asked to leave. When I got home, I recounted the story to my roommate. I thought she would be as horrified as I was by their behavior, but she was hesitant to take a side. She said their behavior was rude and entitled, but at the same time, I was taking up a table at a notoriously busy cafe for a long time, and I could have moved. Later, my sister likened it to not giving up a seat to a disabled person on public transit. This I don't agree with because transportation is a need for a lot of people and these people didn't need to sit down at this cafe. Also, maybe this is assholey of me, but I think a lot of people say they have back issues or some other mild condition just to get things they want. Both my sister and my roommate said it was a, they had to be there kind of situation for them to decide. So I'm wondering if any of you can decide if I'm Tay without having been there.